Tis sparkling winter and a frosty glow envelops all the New York countryside. Now our hills are wrapped in white. Awaiting throngs of gay-clad folks who come to sport upon the snow, enjoy its splendor. Each year, I'm at New York State, figurating possible. Empire State, great slopes and valleys, rolling hills and beautiful lakes are transformed into a winter playground for outdoor fun. Over roads systematically kept open, they come by auto and by bus. Some fly. Thousands travel by fast train. Here are some of them. Steam heated apartments for Dotton, ready for the fun that King Winter provides so lavishly. No matter how or where they travel in New York, excellent hotels and lodges offer comfortable rests and tasty meals to satisfy ravenous winter appetites. Breakfast over, it's out of doors for the day of sport and the cold, clear air. There's fun for everyone. Variety is the New York State keynote, and there's lots to choose from. finds runs that test his skill. There are slopes for the novice and intermediate and for the beginner. Skiing can be so much fun, but it takes a little practice. your fancy, you'll find courses all about you. You'll also find competent instructors teaching a simplified technique that's uniform throughout the state. This looks easy. The Empire Technique, taught by most New York State instructors, has 16 basic steps. No matter where you take your ski lessons, these 16 steps will help you develop good form. Let's look at some of these ace teachers demonstrate the empire technique on the sporty slopes of Snow Ridge. Step one, checking equipment. Step two, skiing on level ground, getting used to the skis. Step three comes next, the step turn on level ground. Step four is the kick turn. And now we're ready for step five, the business of going uphill. First, the herringbone. And then for steeper grades, the side step. Step six is the downhill running position.
Then we go to step seven, the snow plow, from which it's an easy move to step eight, the snow plow turn. In step nine, we learn to traverse or cross the hill on an angle. Step 10, side slipping is a little tougher. And now we're ready for the Christie turns. Step 11, the uphill Christie. Step 12, the step turn. And so to step 13, the stem Christie. Step 14 is the pure Christie. Christie, by the way, is short for Christiania, the town in Norway where this type of turn was first developed. Step 15 is the kick Christie, a very useful but difficult turn. Step 16 is a grandstand finish for sport photographers, the spectacular jump turn. Now let's see the Empire Technique in action. Here it is on a typical New York State ski trail. too much work? You can do your skiing while sitting down. One of these ski bikes is more fun than a barrel of monkey. Just sit down, relax, and you're off. Uh-oh, you sure are off. But how do you get up to the top? New York State ski centers have equipment to make going up as easy as sliding down. There are rope toes like these and alpine lifts for the longer haul. this cable car a made-to-order lift and you don't have to be a skier to enjoy the ride. Perhaps it was a lazy man who invented ski joring, skiing with horsepower in it. Dobbin used to spend winters just loafing in his stall, but those are gone forever. Now he's kept busy towing ski jores over snow-covered lakes and fields. On this bare mountain ski jump, you may fly for a brief moment without wings. This is one of several jumps in the state. Expertly designed and constructed, they attract top-notch jumpers. Women as well as men take part in these championships, full of thrills for spectators as well as skiers.
And now we see where Bear Mountain got its name. You're right, Junior, it was named after a bear. And here he is now, all ready for a day on the snow. In New York State, even the bears go in for winter fun. If you bear with us, we'll watch while this expert demonstrates some bear facts about skiing. Of course, he uses the empire technique. Here's step six, going downhill. Our pretty beginner is still working on the problem, and still putting her best foot forward. This toboggan run is made of hard packed snow sprayed with water and frozen to give a speedy surface. If you have a toboggan, you don't need a prepared run to have a whale of a lot of fun. Pile the whole family on and head down any of New York State's snowy slopes. Settled snow is perfect for snowshoeing, and snowshoes will take the outdoor lover along trails whose beauty is hidden to the less adventurous. Come spring, the trail may lead to where the maple sugar cooks. Why not try a sample? It's a dog's life, but these Alaskan Huskies love it. And look at those smiles on the faces of the passengers. They enjoy relaxing while the dogs do all the work. without an old-fashioned sleigh ride on a clear, crisp day. New York does it in style with a sturdy team and jingling bells. It's fun to be alive on a day like this when you're surrounded by glorious scenery and good companions. What's this, Shantytown? You needn't feel sorry for the inhabitants. They're having the time of their lives. Ice fishermen's shacks are erected each winter on many of New York's well-stocked and hard-frozen lakes. The followers of Isaac Walton know no season. For them, there's good fishing summer and winter. Just see how easy it can be. Drive out upon a lake, unload your gear, a stove and a chair are certainly recommended, then pitch a tent. Next, chop a hole through the ice and you're open for business. Speaking of ice, there's no better skating anywhere than on New York lakes and rivers. Whether you're just a beginner or a champ, you can always find a place to try out your blade. Look at the graceful tricks of this expert.
Ice hockey is always popular, both as a player and spectator sport. Amateur, college, and professional teams play regularly scheduled games in New York State. There are many natural outdoor rinks in several cities have large arenas with artificial ice. No one can watch this fastest of team sports without feeling his blood pound a little harder at the speed, the dexterity, and the skill of the colorful players. Yes, variety is New York State boats. So if you feel like an outdoor dip in the middle of winter, go right ahead. If you go in for winter bathing, you'll find, as these polar bears do, that a steam bath first in the finished fashion makes it more enjoyable. Now here's a chance for excitement. Try a ride in an ice boat. Their sail the same as the graceful sailboats that dot our waters in summer, but their still running craft whiz along at a much greater speed. of New York City, from its majestic skyline to the gay white way of Broadway with its theaters, nightclubs, and restaurants, are for many the ideal winter vacation land. Here, too, the lover of the outdoor comes into his own. Park lakes and rink gives skaters an opportunity to stretch their legs. You make up figures in the shadows of the city's towering skyscrapers. For city kids, parks and playgrounds are grand for sledding. Hills mantled in sparkling snow bring a taste of the country to city millions. Perhaps their form needs some improving, but the energy and ambition of these Manhattan skiers cannot be denied. On weekends, many of them will join snow train crowds to try their skill on steeper slopes. Whether you live in the city or in the country, winter is the time for brisk outdoor romps. Deep in the heart of the snow-covered Adirondacks lies the village of Lake Placid, the granddaddy of all winter resorts in America. Among its winter visitors are some of the finest skiers. Here they come for jumping, slalom, and the most difficult and grueling of all ski contests, cross-country racing. up and down mountainsides, over frozen ponds and lakes, across open fields and through deep, silent woods. It's a test of endurance and skill along a path of ever-changing view. Speaking of grueling ski contests, here's that girl again. Look from here that the skis are still ahead. Oh, brother. Courage and daring, as well as skiing skill, are needed for this ski jump. Each jump is a thriller, for this is the proving ground for a champion. bobsled run in America, the Mount Van Hovenberg run of international fame. Now the camera takes you aboard a sled to show you what it's like to take one of these mile-a-minute rides.
finish line, the steel claws of the brake, off the sleds in a spray of snow. Summer or winter, Niagara's famous falls are a compelling spectacle that attracts millions each year. The thundering waters are just as majestic in their icy cloak as in their summer spray. And their attraction for honeymooners knows no season. by the shouts and laughter of this skiing generation. It's true of all parts of the state. What's this, spot before our eyes? No, it's some expert skiers attempting the difficult novelty of torch skiing. Time for storytelling, for recounting the day's events and for planning others for the morrow. Yes, New York, the Empire State, is the winter playground of America. It is winter, and the frosty glow in the gleaming countryside. Now, o'er our hills, comes forth the laughing throng of gay-clad folks who sport upon the snow. Enjoy. 